Hey, welcome interns. In this video, we are going to talk about how can you get started with earning through Intern Tracker platform from day one of your internship. As you all know, Hackweather works with artificial intelligence projects with various organizations like Indian Army and Indian Air Force. So you can work on data labeling and annotations in order to build machine learning models for Hackweather. So you can go to your Intern Tracker platform once you log into your intern tracker account on your profile page, when you scroll down a bit, you will see one option below your marking attendance and request new task section. The section says start earning. Get paid to annotate aircraft frames for Drishtivyom. So Drishtivyom is our product, which is a precision vision system that helps Indian Air Force detect aircraft with highest accuracy. So to push this accuracy even higher, we are inviting interns from any domain to annotate and label aircraft frames. So you can watch the demo and you can follow the steps and you can start earning by completing these paid annotation tasks. You need no prior experience for this. The activity is flexible and fast. You can annotate in short sessions on your pace, on your schedule, and you can earn as you go. This particular project is a very high impact work. You label and your labels train Drishtivyom's ML model for mission critical accuracy. These are paid tasks, real payouts for verified quality annotations, performance boosts your earnings. So what you can do is you can quickly get started with clicking here on start annotation task. Also, you can watch a 60 second video demo of Drishtivyom, how it works. And you can uh, even click on see how it works in order to understand how we are going to annotate and perform the activities. So you can quickly click on start annotation task, which I'm going to guide you step by step. Apart from this, so when will you get paid? So when you are done with annotations of your aircraft, uh, there is a monthly threshold of 5,000 rupees. So once your threshold of 5,000 is met on your account, uh, just like YouTube payments mechanism, uh, and you have no holes. So you will typically receive your stipend or payment for annotations between 7th to 12th of every month. So suppose you worked from 1st September to 30 September. So that duration payment will be credited on your account from 7th to 12th uh, of the next month, which is 7th to 12th of October. So these are paid micro tasks, which you can get started. And now I'm going to guide you how it works. So in fact, before we proceed, let me show you a quick uh, video demo of how it works. So in this video, you can see left hand side is the original video, right hand side is the machine learning model, which is detecting the aircrafts uh, in the real time. So this is the Drishti Vyom window and it is calculating various other uh, information and measurements of the aircraft angular velocity. So now what we need from interns is Given this kind of video, you have to annotate the aircrafts as much as you can. There are around 20,000 frames uh, given. So you can annotate as much as you can. The more you annotate, the more money will you get. And using those annotations, we are going to train machine learning models, which will eventually enhance the accuracy of the aircrafts. So in your use case, you have to annotate aircraft as well as weapons both. So now I'm going to take you uh, about how you're going to do that. So let's quickly get started with the annotation task. So when you click here on annotation, click here on start annotation task uh, from your registered intern tracker account, you can get started with the annotation. You have to click here on open first frame. When you click over here, you're going to get the frame uh, there are various options here. So initially this is frame one out of 20,611 uh, frame. You can uh, do this annotation on multiple days as well. You don't need to do it at a single time. So what you can do is uh, the maximum number of frames which you can annotate uh, depends on you, but you can flexibly do it in multiple days. So there is a facility to resume the annotations. So now what you can do is 
So uh, you can use shortcut as well as these buttons. You can use shortcut P for previous frame, N for next frame. You can use C for copy, V for paste, which means once you annotated one image, you can use C and V to control C and control V like that stuff so that you don't need to draw uh, annotations again and again on frames if the frames are likely similar. Uh, then you can use shortcut S. Uh, the shortcuts are mentioned over here at the bottom. Uh, you can use button or you can use S to save. So shortcuts would be easy because there are many frames and you can move one by one faster. Then if you want to undo, uh, suppose you tagged, uh, suppose you tagged something and uh, which is incorrect. So you can use U option to undo and uh, U is the undo uh, shortcut. Then you can reset. And finally here you have a wallet as well. So wallet will, uh, you know, keep track of your payment mechanism. So let me tell you how you are going to annotate. So what are we going to annotate in this particular project? There are two classes. One is aircraft, second is weapon. So suppose here are the aircrafts which we are going to, you know, annotate. So let's select this as an aircraft and let's select this one as aircraft. So now you can see that we annotated these aircrafts. You can use C to copy these two boxes. You can press N to move to the next frame. So when we press N, we will go to the next frame. You can use V to paste it. Uh, and uh, you have to save as well on every frame. So let's get back to the previous frame once. And here you can see that uh, since we didn't save, so it, it, it is not showing the annotation. So use V and use S to save. So when you press S, you can see that this frame is saved by uh, your user ID and it will be saved into the database. So this will be recorded in our uh, machine learning data set. So now when you click on next, you will move on to the next page and you can click on S, save, move to next, paste, click on save, then move next. So this is how you can move to previous frames and next frame. So if I press P, you can see that I have gone to the previous frame, which is already, uh, you know, annotated. So in this way, you have to start annotation and, uh, you know, make sure that your objects are fitting the bounding boxes appropriately, because that will enhance the accuracy of the detection. And individually, each object has to be annotated. When there would be many uh, aircrafts on the screen, which you have previously seen in the demo video, you don't need to tag all of them because the machine learning model will train. But if you have like two to three aircrafts on a scene, uh, eventually you must tag it. If there are very high number of uh, aircrafts on the screen, you can tag a few, two to three. Uh, or else you can skip those frames also. Uh, but eventually the the more you annotate, the more better will be your accuracy and the more better your pay would be. So uh, so when weapons would come, you can, uh, you know, switch the classes. So suppose you want to tag any weapon, uh, which might be on a screen. So you can, you know, tag and the weapon would be tagged like that. So now I'm going to use U to undo. Again, I'll go to aircraft. So this is going to be my aircraft and I would want it to be within the bounding box. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to use C to copy. I'm going to go next. Then similarly, I'm going to paste V. I'm going to use S and that's how you have to annotate. So you can see that I have annotated around six frames. The more number of frames you annotate, the more uh, amount, the more pay you get. So, uh, and in order to check your, you know, wallet, uh, there is my earnings section on your intern tracker profile. You can always go there and, uh, you know, check uh, how much you're earning as well as you can quickly go to wallet from uh, this page as well. Suppose in case sometimes you would want to, uh, you know, switch back to the last frame. So you can quickly mention the frame number and you can reach out to that frame. Now, uh, so what I'll do, I'll quickly take you to uh, the home folder where we are going to show you uh, the wallet. 
So when you go to intern tracker, profile.php, that's our intern tracker profile. There is a my earnings section at the top. You can quickly click on my earnings and here on my earnings, you will see your wallet, which will display you all the details of your earnings, which you have done so far. So now you can see that here, uh, you can convert every minute into money. So you can earn by annotating real projects. The more data annotation you do, the more you make paid, uh, you will be paid monthly. And when you will, you will be get paid, getting paid. If you meet the payment threshold of rupees 5,000 and have no payment holes, you'll typically receive your payment between 7th to 12th of every month. So your earnings for the defined period would be mentioned over here. Then uh, your average and the total number of frames which you have logged so far. Uh, then by activity, it says uh, the number of pages which you viewed, uh, you got earnings for each page which you view. Then for all the annotations which you do, you get paid for those annotations as well. And you can quickly see your payment earning, you know, schedule uh, and the trend of how you are earning from here and the projects on which you guys are working. So you can quickly see your projects on the right hand section by project where you can see how much money you earned from what project. So you can quickly get started with your booster tasks, which are available on your profile.php page of your intern tracker. You can go to start earning section and you can quickly get started with earning with Hackveda from day one. And there will be many more projects of data annotations because uh, to tell you, uh, data annotations will become a $3.6 billion market by 2027. So data annotation and labeling is, uh, you know, is a way to go. So you can quickly get started. You will gain a lot of experience about how data sets are created for machine learning models. Even if you are not from machine learning background or uh, any technical background, you can work on this project uh, at a flexible time as per your convenience in the evening hours or post college hours. And you can create data sets for Hackveda and you can earn money. So thank you so much for watching.